everyone what's up what's good what's new if you are new welcome 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 if you are not new as always thank you for messing with your girl i'm a little late chit chatting about this subject but it's just because i had things to do and i didn't really have the time <laughs> i ain't got no notes i ain't got no guy we just going straight off the dome with this so whatever working more than one job at the same time when you're working remote or whichever. I didn't really want to discuss or talk about this subject or, or put it out there on a public uh, platform because it's truly ain't nobody, is my opinion that it ain't nobody's business how many jobs you work in. And this isn't the first time, uh, this has been done for uh, plenty of remote jobs for, for years, it's not new. But this is my opinion on the matter, and as someone who is in the networking field, do I think it's possible to work more than one networking job uh, compared to other fields of work? Do I have an issue with people working multiple jobs at the same time? No, I don't have an issue. If they don't affect one another, I don't see a problem with it. Make more money. Who cares? Who truly freaking cares i think people were drawing attention to itself i don't know if they felt as though this was uh doing businesses uh just terrible all right oh you're it's not fair to the businesses so <laughs> so i don't really understand the people that have such a loyalty to companies or loyalty to businesses sweetie they don't got no loyalty to you. They will let you go and replace you in a heartbeat. You are just a number. You are just a person to these companies. If you stop being able to do the job or make the money, then you're gone. That's just that's just what it is. So why? And, and they're not paying people enough. All right. Inflation. There's so many things that are out there, especially for people who are doing jobs that it's high demand and a lot of work and you're not getting paid enough. And if, why not pick up a second job? People have been working two jobs. I think, in my in my opinion, I don't think it's the fact that it's people working more than one job. I think it's the fact that it's people working more than one job at the same time, uh, take same time frame, I should say. Because it used to be, before remote work used to be as popular as it is now, when you got a second job, you either did it after work, on the weekends, uh, working part-time, things like that. But working more than one job is not new. Not everybody's job is as busy as others. Not everybody's job, not everyone's job is, is customer facing like that. If you can get your job done, in two three hours and then you got the rest of the day why not get another job i'm not condoning i'm not saying you should do it but you can <laughs> you can do it. it it's not that big of a deal there are companies now that are having clauses put in their onboarding i've heard that you cannot have a second job during the background like it, it they're not, they just doing too much i don't know as long as you're doing the job you are doing it on time everything all your tasks are getting completed as long as all that stuff is getting done every day why does it matter truly why does it matter there are people that i seen online follow on social media people that i'm cool with and they just be advertising like three four computers like oh making bank making bank each job is like a hundred and ten k salary they're working four jobs at the same time clearing almost a half a million a year but you would ask them dang why are you working four jobs it's like oh well this job is easy all right it's boring i could do this job two hours of work and then i got the rest of the day to do the other ones and they're all like low maintenance jobs so they could do that i guess i was like oh more power to you i won't be working for them for a job <laughs> i won't be doing that a lot of times though they're contract work too so if you got a contract job for six months and you got another contract job most of the time it's it's contract work that's what i've seen from the people that i personally know that are doing it now i think that only works for certain career fields 
job fields. That only works, depending on what it is that you do. Um, now, as someone who is in networking and just IT in general, do I think you can work more than one job in the networking field or the IT field? Do I think you can do it? Yes. Yes, it is completely possible. You can do it. I think you can do it more so in roles that aren't very much so customer facing. The thing that I know about true, I don't want to say true IT, I'm going to say it, true IT roles. All right, let me not say that. I don't want to say true because that's very different than what it is. I would say true technical roles in IT, technical roles in IT. Because, uh, you know, everybody talk about they in IT a lot of times and they ain't really, in my opinion, really in that's for another discussion <laughs> true technical roles i think it's harder and the reason why i say this is if you're watching this maybe you are and predominantly you do work in a technical field when them p1s come in and them p1s come in a ain't nothing else is is important as as fixing that p1 there's an outage going on you gotta drop everything so if you're working another job that's very also high demand Ooh, hey no 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 you gotta stop what you're doing to handle that business people in help desk roles uh knock roles sock roles anything like that that you're constantly on the phone uh rotating calls and, and all this type of stuff i don't really think you can do it i just don't think you can do it physically are able to do it um because if you think about it you're constantly on a, on a phone you're constantly on a call like you're constantly running through tickets so I don't think you can. If you have a job where you're not on the phone all the time and it's more back end, then you can kind of get more leeway. But you also have to understand that when a high priority issue comes in, you need to drop everything and handle that. So if you're gonna have a, a second job, get another job that's not as demanding as that, not as customer facing, maybe doing more so um, paperwork, uh, diagramming, maybe closing out things, um, anything just back end that doesn't require so much that you, it's not like, oh, I need to get this done ASAP, ASAP, there's an outage going on. Find that. It may not be in networking. It may not be in your IT field. It may be somewhere else, but it's a lower maintenance job than what you currently have. That's how I think people in networking can do it. It's just, I just don't think if you're in help desk, if you could do it, I just don't, I don't see how you can. Any type of customer service job, I don't see how you can do it. If I was working two jobs, would I tell y'all? Would I post that I was working more than one job? Mm, probably not. Uh, I probably not, but it, that's just I'm just more private by nature. But at the same time, I don't want nobody messing with my bag. <laughs> like you ain't gonna mess with my bag, baby. It's not gonna happen. If I'm going to be working two, three, four jobs, uh, ain't nobody gonna know about it. Mm, ain't nobody gonna know about it except for for me and my mans, cause we all live in the same house. You know it, but ain't nobody gonna know about it. Ain't nobody gonna know about it. Whatever. <laughs> That's it, I guess. I just wanted to, you know, just a little quick chit chat, little quick chit chat. My opinion on it at the end of the day is do whatever it is that you want to do. If you want to make some more money, make some more money. Hope you guys enjoyed this quick little chit chat. Let me know if you agree, if you disagree, if you don't feel people doing that, if you think they taking advantage of the situation, or if you think that we should take advantage of companies because we are disposable to them, like I feel. Let me know down in the comments. As always, subscribe for more videos. Uh, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And...